Well, folks, before Mike Zuglin actually makes his announcement, we're going to start ours. We'd like to welcome you to the Turning Stone Classic 26. It is the Mike Zuglin's Josh Northeast Nine Ball Tour, and we're coming to you live from the Turning Stone Casino and Resort in Verona, New York. As you can see on the poster, Karen Kaur, Jason Shaw, and Rodney Morris, the Rocket. They're the folks that are on the poster for this tournament. Congratulations to them. We're going to get started uh, very shortly. We have these two players coming up. It's going to be uh, Earl Herring and Charlie Lamach. Charlie Lamach is out of Canada. They elected to put this match on as the Canadians are simulcasting the Turning Stone Classic into Canada. And we love having them aboard. We want to say hello to everybody up there in Canada and everybody around the world. We want to thank Kamui, Mr. John Berton and company. We want to thank Baltimore. Light systems. This is the new lighting that's uh, 10 times the illumination, 10 times as light as far as weight. Easy to hang. A lot of pool rooms are switching over to this lighting. It's incredible. I know numerous people that already purchased it. In fact, one of them is on their way here. And we're going to have him in the booth and give you some more insight into light-systems.com. We want to thank John Barton and family of JB Cases. The latest buzz, and I'm sure a lot of you guys seen it already, is right there, it's Billiards Buzz. You know, I had a call, Mr. Foresight. Uh, because, you know, a lot of your magazines, and I'm not knocking anybody, will charge $30, you know, $29.95 a month, I mean, a year, a year, which is nothing, right? $30 a year. I called Jerry and I said, Jerry, I, I, I really love what you're doing here, but I, I have no details of what it cost to actually read this high definition magazine online. Is there going to be any subscriptions down the line? And Jerry Forsythe reassured me that absolutely not. It's a free magazine. He wants his articles to be read. I've read a few pages of it that I was interested in. Make sure to check it out. All you got to do is go to azbilliards.com, and you can find the Billiard Buzz magazine right there. We want to thank the Turning Stone Casino and Resort. This is our location right here. This is making everybody crazy, not only in the New England area, but all through the tri-state. It's $20,000 first place. You could get in touch with these guys at www.shiptocash.com. See, Jason Shore is the uh, pro host. He's uh, affiliated with Mike DeMarco up there. It's like he's got so many formats, like a race to two. He's got fight night. He's gonna. He started live streaming. He's like if you're one of the champions of fight night, he's going to bring his live stream setup to your pool room, if feasible to do, so that your pool room gets recognized. But look at the prizes, $20,000. Open, everybody plays even. There's a buyback, you can buy back in. You can see the entry fees. It's www.shiptocash.com. This is, I, I, you gotta check it out. We also wanna remind you Okay, I understand my audio was a little blank on some of the ads there. We'll fix all of that. This is AccuStats. AccuStats is going to be bringing us the U.S. Open once again. $200,000 total prizes. Prize money. And notice Simonis and Aramis and Diamond. I mean, you know, these everybody getting together. It's AccuStats doing it once again. Uh, make sure to check out Accu hyphen stats.com 
And uh, keep abreast. I'm not sure if they have the early bird specials up there yet, but I'm sure they're going to have them up for the U.S. Open. Thank you, Mr. Pat Fleming, for doing all you do. Of course. Okay, I understand my audio was uh, actually uh, not in this ad right here. It's Baltimore City Cues. They are here on premises, and when they say they bring their store to your event, rest assured, they do. you got to come here and check them out. It's BaltimoreCityCues.com. How about these guys? Now, some of you guys might look at this. Let me turn Mike Zuglin down a little bit. Some of you guys might look at this and say, wow, Wild Eyes Creations, what is this? Well, Wild Eyes Creations, yeah, let me turn my audio up. You look at this and you say, what are they? Okay, Road Stories is muted too, okay. Pool stick holders, cue stick holders that go on the ends of tables. It, when they say Wild Eyes Creations, that's their logos, those white eyes on there. They have everything under the sun. Check them out. Wild Ice Creations. These are the guys supporting the live stream so we can do it for free. Every one of these sponsors that I'm mentioning. Wild Ice Creations. Thank you, Mike. Bad Stubiner and Company. And you guys over at Wild Ice Creations. All right, something was muted here. Let me go in here and fix this. Okay, this is Attorney Stone. Mike Zuglin's on his way down. Check one, two, there we go. It's Earl Strickland's Road Stories. Diana Hoppy has them. If you're in the market for any kind of pool and billiards memorabilia and you're not sure where to get it, that's her phone number right there on the poster. 843-838-7770. Get in touch with her. Get inquisitive. See if she has what you're looking for. <coughs> Excuse me. I can tell you one thing that I can guarantee you. Mr. Earl Pearl of Strickland is right here in the tournament. We will see the likes of him during the tournament. Mike Zuglin's on his way down. Where is he? He's on his way down. So we're going to go to a different camera angle. We're going to catch Mike on his way down. We have a lot of other sponsors that we have to thank. Let's see where the Zugster is. He's walking on his way down. You can see him down there. The place is electric. First match coming up. Charlie Lamach versus Earl Herring. Earl Herring shooting out of New England. I mean, Newburgh at Gallery Billiards. And Charlie Lamach shooting out of Canada. Let's listen in to Mr. Mike Zuglin. Three in a row. 
multiple winner on our tour in the past and other, you know, in the Billiard Parlor events, Geeky Memorial Open champ. He had a, uh, he's the current Ocean State Nine Ball champ. He was third in the U.S. Open not too long ago. Are you still sponsored by Geeky? Mike Zuglin is introducing Jason Shore, and if he keeps reading off Jason's accomplishments, we we'll be lagging behind about two hours. Sponsored by Mutual Cues, Kings of Favor, Moose, Billiard Shoes, and Kamui Tip, Jason Shore, right there. Good luck. Jason Shore, so you can see that Jason's playing a couple of tables behind. And on all. I just want to mention Mike Strasburg, you sent me a flyer. Uh, Mike Strasburg is actually having a motorcycle rendezvous for battered women. Mike, that flyer that you sent me, for some reason that picture, I can't get it on the broadcast. Please send it in my email. I'll text you my email on the phone. For some reason, the format that you sent me and I couldn't get it in there. That's right, he is always a threat, and a gentleman player at that, Mr. Earl Herring. We're going to be joined in the booth here shortly by one of the favorites, getting well-known around the country, Mr. Alex Bakovichov. I call him Bakovichov, but his name is Borokovich. He's the man, Iggy. In the chat, we actually do have a chat. And we're gonna to go to camera one. Alex, if you're on the air, welcome aboard, my friend. Where's my camera? Mr. Danny Hewitt down here on table number 10. Right there. All right. Danny Hewitt. Hello, everyone. Hi, Alex. I'm not, am I on? Yes. You uh, are on planet Pluto. You're flying Pluto. at about 15 million feet right I, now. I woke up about 40 minutes ago. Right. Took a shower, okay. shaved, changed, uh, and I'm here. Uh, I will join you briefly for the beginning of the match, and then I will split and then come back and we'll do a long and painful broadcast. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Turning Stone. Oh. Hi, Iggy. Okay, Mike, I'll check hi everybody. in a little while, Mike. Hi, right, now, Mike uh, right now, sports the mic. I'm a little under the gun right now. I will get that in there. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Uh, you might yeah. not be getting it in there right away, but I will get it in there for you, pal. Uh, we got plenty of people to thank, let me tell you. And you, you know something? I, I, I'm going to get something up on the screen. Um, you know what? Let's do it right now. Well, no, Earl Strickland says, let's get on with it. Here we go. I mean, Earl Strickland. Earl Herring set to break. Game number one. <laughs> Table 11 from Westmoreland, New York. He's a regular on our team. He plays on the Salt City Billiards as well. And as I just said, try the cut break. Don't forget the great yeah, they're going to they're gonna try numerous breaks until they find their comfort zone. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, uh, sometimes what we say is it's coming up quick. From opening match butterflies. Yeah. When it comes to Earl, Herring. There is no butterflies. This is, this is his mode. I mean, he just enjoys playing. I mentioned this once before. He, he played in this event a couple of years ago. 
And uh, he was actually locked in for like the final eight, but he had other obligations. He had a wedding. Because he is a pastor. And actually, uh, he elected to leave the tournament. Is he going to try the 3 9 combo? Well, you don't have to call it. Yeah, I know. Wow, he got lucky. He made the six in the side. Wow. Now he's still in trouble. Unless he can. I don't think the three can actually bill you off the fall ball. No. No. Now I say no because of him, but if it was Efren, I might second guess myself. No, it's, it's a very tough shot. We, we don't have an overhead. Yeah, but, no, no. Uh, but it's a very tough shot. He recently finished third Vermont State Nine Ball Champ. He's a former Vermont State Champ, Dave Fernandez. Yeah. He just, just back to that. First time here at, uh, That's it. He just left him moderately <laughs> difficult shot. Yeah, this is one of those shots that you really, you know, that angle and being on that rail like that. But the three is far enough off the rail where he can make it. It's a seven ball he has to worry about. He doesn't want to get caught on the short side of that seven ball. See? Whoa, he went right underneath it. Nice shot. He Mr. made it. Uh, this is where experience comes in. Yeah, I, I think he's got just enough angle to possibly get around the seven. He's really going to have to hit it, though. He's going to punch it. Like punch follow. Punch it and spin it, right? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. I love it. I love this. You know, uh, years ago, Earl Herring was one of the players that had a mark on him where everybody knew that they can come to Newburgh and uh, actually uh, match up and get an action. With Earl. And how many walked away with the empty pockets? A few. A few, and I mean, a few, he was a tough customer. I mean, a few bushels. <laughs> I don't just mean a few. <laughs> Loves the game of straight pull. Uh oh. Error there. He knows it. Like you said, the first match. Nah, this is not jitters, not for him. Not jitters, but you know, you're trying to get into a, a gro groove, and uh, he only made four shots. I tell you what, you really but couldn't feather it that much. No, he, it's like he, he did right there. He, he did the take this shot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Is he, is he gonna go for it? No, he shouldn't go for this shot. He's going. But, you know, he's going. You know, he's playing that little Mickey Mouse safe, what we call the mouse trap, going, yeah, trying to go rail, rail. No. Nah. I don't think he got away with it. No, no. He left him a perfect shot. Left him a shot. Earl has such a touch. It's beautiful. I, I love to watch Earl timers. Yeah. There's a lot of touch in the game. There's no yeah. no no punching, no no shooting hard. You know, there's so many different ways of it's not gonna using scratch. different strokes on different shots. And uh, he's got the whole repertoire. I mean he's yeah. just loaded with it. He's been playing for what, fifty years already? I don't know exactly I, if I if I had to guesstimate, yeah, I would say at least but forty. If not more. He's been playing longer than his that opponent. nine ball's not going to get you there. It's all right. I mean, Canada is in an uproar right now. Canada is changing their leaves. <laughs> Charlie, uh, Charlie's from Canada, and we're simulcasting into Canada. We have uh, a bunch of group. That's the, that's a big scratch shot, but not yeah. in this case. So Charlie is going to go up one nothing here. Well. I have to step step away for 30 minutes. I'll be back and we will continue. Okay. Don't forget there are amazing matches going on uh, all over the venue. There's a Jason Shaw and uh, Lee Kang sh uh, match going on. Uh, a lot of champions in the room. 
So if you guys uh, have an opportunity, please make it upstate and hang out and watch it. Absolutely. Good Otherwise, good uh, you're welcome to our broadcast. There you go. Thank you, Alex. All right, we'll hear Alex later on uh, during the day. I just want to remind you, Alex had both hips replaced. He's now the half-million-dollar man. He's going to be worth the million dollars because he got the extension. Um, I got the joints from Predator. <laughs> he said he got the joints for his hips from Predator. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. <laughs> All right, Charlie, on the... Uh, yeah. On the two to three ball up by the side pocket to the right. He's got to watch the cue ball. If it bumps to four, he could trap himself. And I'll tell you what, he's got himself. Two rail kick, kicking it to the lower part of the table. You gotta make sure he hides it. Three ball goes up in the left hand corner. Cue ball just slides across the table. Put a four in the side pocket. Tommy Jr. in the chat. Now my pick is Jason and the Rocket in the finals. I'll tell you what. Um, don't close your eyes on Donnie Mill. Donnie Mills is here. Uh, Mike Deshane is here. We've got a lot of players. We've got Strickland here. Yeah, we got a lot of players here. You know, players are spread out all over the world right now, but a lot of top players here. Earl makes the six ball, seven ball in the bottom left-hand corner. Two rails, so he's going to draw back to the rail for the nine. Now this could be trouble. Wow, got very fortunate. All he really had to do was nudge that. And he would have been trapped up behind the nine. Instead, he's got a shot at the pocket. Earl Strickland ties his, uh, Earl Strickland hooked on the Earl Str I didn't think Earl was coming and all of a sudden I seen him up at the front so Earl Herring ties it up one apiece Uh, if you guys have uh, never joined uh, the live stream or first timers signing on to the Turning Stone Classic, uh, it is a race to nine until we get to the finals. Anytime. We can put the baby in. We can get her on camera. We can do the whole nine yards. We got Dan Heydrich here from Heydrich Custom Cues with his daughter having a great time. It's always a pleasure to see Dan. 
Now, Dan comes all the way up from the Carolinas. He used to live upstate here, and uh, now he's uh, down in the Carolinas, Danny Heydrich. Upstate is the nine on the spot. No, the regular nine ball. Mike never changes the rules. He might change a, you know, a frozen ball rule, a jump cue rule, but no, the one is always on the spot. Uh, we got a couple of surprises during this tournament. We're going to be giving away prizes, um, and I'll mention that as we proceed with the tournament, uh, who donated them. And we're also going to be giving away another free pass into the 14.1 pay-per-view pass, valued about $80. We're going to be giving away one of those passes also. So we've got a lot of things under our wings uh, that we're working on. And uh, we got a lot of those people to thank, too. It's just a matter of time. Opening match. The only qualifications to win the prizes are to sign into the chat. Um, it's not a ploy to get you signed in, but it's just a way to have you possibly picked as one of the winners. If you don't want to sign in, so be it. We do appreciate all the support, whether you're signed in or not. scenes so uh, you hear a little bit of silence on my end are there brackets online um, you know I have to touch base with uh, Mike Howerton Mike Howerton of AZ Billiards is here uh, as is Norm uh, keeping everybody out there up to date with the live scores of every match taking place in the arena right now. And you can find all of that. If he does have the brackets up, I'm pretty sure he does. You can find that at azbilliards.com as Mr. Earl Herring puts another beat up. Two to one arrow. Ooh, yeah. yeah. I don't work for nobody but you. And just a quick update this just in off the press from the front desk, Mike DeShane versus Joey Dupuy at 6 o'clock. So that'll be the next match right after this, DeShane versus Joe Dupuy.
Wow, what a shot right into the side pocket. After that, you can do anything, right? You're supposed to make this. I believe the score is two to one. I had to take my eye off the match. I've been doing some work behind the scenes. Take a quick look. Yeah, two to one. Earl Herring splits the jaws. He makes it three to one. I believe it was Danny DiLiberto was telling me a story when Danny D and uh, and Larry Lascotti went hunting for uh, for Earl uh, up in Newburgh. I forget the whole story. We're hoping to see the likes of uh, Danny D. He surprises us. He uh, drives down from Buffalo on his own. God bless him. And uh, comes in and sits down and uh, really enjoys the company of uh, the pool players around him, of course, as he normally does. Uh, and the spectators. And uh, we love having Danny in the booth. So yet to be seen, uh, he surprises us. But we might have somebody actually uh, passing by that might know. Uh, if Danny is going to show up or not, he actually uh, keeps in touch with Danny quite often. Uh, Mr. Ed Colhane um, usually keeps in touch with Danny, and he might be able to fill us in when he gets in the booth. We always have him in and out. Uh, Mr. Ed Colhane, a.k.a. The Lock. How you doing, sir? What's happening? I just snuck a nap in. I was just mentioning Danny's name. and you we, know, He I, always surprises us, but we're not really sure right now. You have any yeah, inside info? Yeah, the word is that Danny may show up on Saturday, only for the day maybe, uh, with his lady friend, according, oh, cool. according to Pat, Pat Fleming. Cool. And Pat's coming up for on Saturday for a day, I guess maybe. You're kidding. Maybe you'll sit going up. Yeah, well, you'll, oh, maybe I you'll, love it, man. Maybe you'll sit and answer any it U.S. Get any Open better. questions, you know? Absolutely. What about Jerry? Is he in town? Uh, Jerry's out of town. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, Mr. Uh, Jerry? We have uh, Mike Howard in on premises. Uh, oh, that's right. Mikey's here. Representing AZ Billiards. But Jerry is behind the scenes uh, doing a lot of work, especially with that Billiard Brothers magazine. I don't know if you've seen that. No, I haven't. Um, yeah. It's the Billiard Brothers magazine. Is Billiard what? Billiard Buzz. Really? I have yeah. to look at that. Yeah. There's no... Uh, subscription fee it's all online and uh, it's free so great magazine good read too you got earl herring up here oh yeah he's a real champion nice guy sure is real gentleman and the other man is uh Le i don't know lamarch i think it was lamarch I, I yeah charlie lamarch i don't know out of man. canada ontario if i'm not mistaken all right one ball into the bottom left hand corner the cue ball. Earl's a straight pool player. Looks like he's hitting it with a little bit of right hand English to try to go beside it. Wound up bumping into it. And that's what he was concerned about. And that's why he missed that one ball. He was really concerned about bumping that two ball. Looked like he wanted to play some of the inside dope just to go by it and stay on the left side of that two for a shot into the corner. But instead, Charlie bounces out of his seat. Another little update on Charlie here. Uh, Charlie came down with, I believe, Luke Salva's last year or the last turning stone tournament or the one before and and charlie said i'm getting in the next one and this is him here he decided to play looks like he's going to play safe behind the five no nope. can't figure charlie out right now i'm having a little trouble with that color that the cue ball, the ball by the by the cue ball right now looks like the two to me and and it's, it is the it, two well, pretty, I thought he. Pretty I good thought observation. He, I thought he pocketed the. <laughs> I thought he pocketed the one before. And I'm sorry, the one didn't. <laughs> it's quite got, all right. Got me good. It's quite all right. Well, you know, we got to put you in front of a movie screen theater, like drive theater, drive through, whatever you used to call them, drive-ins. We got to get one of those for you. People don't know what drive-ins are. Not anymore. I still have a couple up by me. I passed one on the way up here in yeah. Warwick, New York. Yeah. Well, Earl almost got fortunate. Don't forget, anything counts. Uh, this has been Mike. Zuglin's rules throughout the Josh Northeast Nine Ball Tour for so many years. And he hasn't changed much. He kept the game a nine ball just the way it is. Watch that side. They hit that with a lot of inside dope. Boy, I tell you there what. There it is. Boom. Welcome to Diamond and Simona's cloth, the yeah. only cloth to play on. 
You know, he held that. He and reversed that a hold a little bit, and he held it too much. There you go, Mr. Tony Iggy, putting those the link to the brackets right there. Hey, Iggy. Tony Iggy has never been here. I've never seen him here. Iggy, I could have threw you on the back of the bike. Wear your chaps and a thong that you wore that time. We would have dragged you up here. <laughs> Iggy's a good man. Sure is. Don't get too straight. You'll have to play the short side of this. A little funky here. He got a little funky position here. Let's see what Earl wants to do with this cue ball here. Man, it looks like he's going to just roll forward and keep the short side. He'll be all right if he can. Yeah, it's a safe bet. Yeah, you got to get down there. Hit it good. Watch that. There you he go. Hit it good. Wow. Yeah, that, that was the problem. If you roll a little bit, you're right on top of the sixth. He's got good control for his straight pull abilities. And oh, he's, he's unbelievable yeah. straight pull. He can, he can do the surgery when he needs to do it. Right. All right, six ball in the corner. The eight ball has to go in the upper right-hand pocket. And he's got to get between that nine and eight, but he's got to avoid that side watch pocket. Watch that side, yeah, it can come into play. Look, right? Got to avoid that side pocket. Oh, he hit it good. Real good. Hey, JQ, what's going on? You know, Earl's, Earl Herring is really putting a, a statement out here to Charlie and say, welcome to your first Turning, turning Stone <laughs> event. Oh, it's the first, the first time the guy's here. <laughs> and you're going to bump into players like me throughout the whole thing as Earl <laughs> sinks the other nine ball. He now takes the lead 4-1. Four, 4-1, one. Four one. yeah, well, what's his name, Charlie? Yes. Oh, I'm not counting him out. I don't count anybody out. No, don't no, get no. me wrong. No, no, no. Because I never seen the gentleman play before. Right, right. You could just package out on Earl. That'd be something too, wouldn't it? Mm, Earl wouldn't like it. No, no. <laughs> but see, I'm sure a lot of viewers would like to see the run. Yeah, go ahead. Would you get up here yesterday? Day Instead before. Of, oh, really? Day before, yeah. So they gave you enough time in the casinos to donate. I'm not going there. <laughs> I heard somebody talking about it before that he just donated 500 to the slots. Oh, like, God. wow. That's a bit of a hit. You know how they say the Indians used to scalp you? They took my head off. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. You laugh at it. <laughs> you know, anytime somebody really, like somebody falls, people laugh. A lot of people laugh. Well, I don't laugh. I, don't I get hurt in the pocket, <laughs> you laugh. <laughs> you would have laughed at me. I would have. <laughs> so, so uh, hopefully you'll have Danny here with Pat and... Uh, one ball in the corner, yeah, and then going to play the two-six combination, but he can't get there as the one that fails the pocket. I wonder if uh, Charlie's just a little nervous. If one of the uh, Canadian uh, people that are maybe possibly in the chat, maybe they know Charlie's game. Uh, we definitely don't. I'm sure uh, Tino Barberi does, and we understand Tino is coming down from Canada. Oh, he was we, here last year. Uh -oh. He was here. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's going to be perfect. Well, yeah, That's he straight is. pool for you. And uh, it's always a pleasure to see Tina and Hannah. If Hannah's coming down, and Tino, a great commentator. Yeah, he did. He was in the booth last year. He was a yeah. good, good guy. He sure is. All right, two to the three. The three is in the middle of the table, favoring the left side towards the left side pocket. Four balls sitting in the bottom right hand corner here. Yeah, he gets on this. The four to five. He's good after this. Everything's. Laid out pretty nice. No problems anywhere. Guess what? You want to save an angle on the five ball. You know, you could be straight in and still make the shot on the seven, sure. but it's just going to make it a little more right, difficult. Right. So he's probably going to just draw this back and hold a little angle off it. He doesn't need much. There you go. That's a nice little angle. <coughs> Earl Herring, New England champion for years and years. Right? From Newburgh. Yeah, yeah. You passed the exit on the way up. Exit 17. No, I came up 81. Or was it exit 14? Newburgh? 17, right? It would be 17 before yeah. it was 14, yeah. Because Route 17 comes in there, too, where you can actually go across. 
Yes, you know, he held just a little angle. He favored the, the rail, so to say. You know, he's a little close to the rail, and that just lines him up perfect. Just stay out of that corner pocket down on the left-hand side. So play this short if you can. You really don't want to play it long. There he is. You played it short. Safety play, nine ball going into the bottom right-hand corner, and Earl Strickland looking at, I mean Earl Strickland, Earl Herring. <laughs> I'm hooked on Earl Strickland. I didn't know he was in the tournament. Earl's not here. No, I looked yesterday. He is here. He's in it. Seriously? Yeah, that, see, that surprised you, too. He wasn't on the list. Well, he got in. Wow, that's good. I like Earl. Yeah, 5-1, Earl Herring. That's the commanding lead when you're racing a nine. You know, that, I said it a few, few other times that Earl, when Earl talks, everybody looks. It's, what is it, when E.F. Hutton talks. Remember the commercials years ago? Yeah. But when er Earl has the most distinguished voice in the game. Let me tell you something. You could line both sides of this arena with... with what is it going to fit here? 10,000 people, right? <laughs> yeah, and everybody's going to pick out and, Earl. And if Earl talks, <laughs> and, and, I mean, if he wanted to hold a seminar, uh, yep. you, believe me, you wouldn't hear a pin drop <laughs> because he gets in so he gets into detail of every single aspect of the game. And that's the yeah, way it has to be right. thought of. Because if you don't think like that, you're not thinking about the game you're playing. Yeah, I'm glad he's here. I that's mean, he, he's unbelievable. <laughs> he's and, and also, uh, just to, I'm, I'm trying to hold Earl to it. I, I asked him if he would get in the booth. And he said he'll get in the booth with us. He says, nobody wants to hear me. I said, Earl, come on. Oh, yes, they do. I said, yeah, I get sure. emails, and I get so many so many great responses. And uh, we're going to have Earl in the booth uh, if he gets a chance. Well, he's starting off with a three-ball combination here. He's just got a cinch hit. And... Superstar. Superstar. Yeah. Yes, he is. Nice three ball combination by Charlie right there. Kind of opens up the table real nice. If he's going to bump the eight, bump it. He could stop right on it. Oh, he went back. Well, he hit that good. Uh oh. Wow, he almost got really well rewarded there. I don't know if he's got the combo. I don't think he does. He's got some trouble. He's going to have to play the combination or attempt to cut the two ball uh, past the three. You know, he, or he could. You know, he could also play a, a two-way shot here and bank the nine right here and send the cue ball down by the three, maybe. Well, you got to escape all the kisses in between. Let's see what he does. Nice. It looks like he's taking a... But, you know, he winds up like this. So that's, a, he, that's what he did. He tried he, to Wow, he just nine. missed it, too, yeah. Well, he didn't come out real bad here. He got Yet. Pretty, well, yeah, he got pretty good. He hooked him. You know, Danny, well, he, he Danny DiLiberto says, uh, you know, because a lot of, like, I used to say it too. Wow, he got kind of fortunate. Danny says, well, he didn't get fortunate until the, his opponent shoots. <laughs> yeah. There's a nice hit. Well, yeah. All right, now he's got a wide open table. Now he's, he has to take control. Settle down if he's got a little bit of butterflies from playing in his in turning stone for the first time. He needs to get this wow, game to shorten the gap here. This is a... I don't know what to say about that shot right there. It was, a, it was obviously... Maybe he was, was trying to do too much ball. to get on the three. I don't know what he was doing there. Trying to lock him up by the eight. Left him a window, I think. I think he's got the three ball helping him out a little bit there. Okay. He's got a window for it, I think. Not much to do with it there, though. Right. Jack up, stick safe. Stick the cue ball behind the nine or slow roll it and yeah. just try to get the nine ball. And leave him, and leave him at least double him up with that five ball. Wow, he, he, he let shot the, wide open. Yeah, he, he opened. Wow. Cue ball to the drink, and that could be uh, detrimental with yeah. Earl coming up at the table. Earl with ball in hand at a six sure. to two lead, six to one. All right, we understand from somebody five in the chat one. that Charlie is struggling, so they they might know Charlie. You know, we we don't know him. Well, there's no pressure here. You know, <laughs> a lot of pressure up there. You yeah, know? you got people sure. sitting in the audience. Both first sides first the match on the TV table right away, and you end up right. with Earl Herring. Earl's got some. Back problems. I was telling him earlier, it's like uh, herniated disc type stuff, you know. So he's got a, he's nursing that a little bit. So 
I asked him if he was going to get in the World Street Pool, and he said, no, he's not. Seems to I, be, uh, you know, one of those issues that a, a lot of pool players go through, whether it's neck or back. Well, you know. yeah, well my back is really crooked. Really. Well, I knew you yeah. were leading into that. It's you, crazy. You're like Mr. Pretzel Man. Yeah, it's really crazy. I mean, he is. Uh, 60 degrees, yeah. I don't laugh about it, you see, like you do. See, if I told you my, my arm hurt, you would tell me, yeah, good for you, you know? See, yeah, nobody feels I, bad I, for you. Did you notice I didn't laugh? <laughs> <laughs> Only when I turn my head, I laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I really, uh, I'm, I'm kind of fortunate with all I do, and and, uh, and the shape, the shape I'm in, I'm pretty fortunate. This is no uh, cakewalk right here. That's seven. Well, he's got the angle. He's just got to. You see where the cue ball is now? Yeah. That's all he's got to do is come right back there in that area, and he'll have a sh clean shot at the seven ball, or a little further, you know, favoring the center. Yeah. He should be okay. Wow. He missed that by a quarter of a That's diamond. That's the second time he's let out a stroke like that, and he, and he hammered the ball like that and missed it. You know, he he, he, he gets up there, and he winds up like he's going to hit it 900 miles an hour. Right. And then sometimes he hits it soft. Twists and then sometimes he goes maybe. even more powerful. Or else so. uh, he come out with uh, with an okay safety here. He, he didn't leave Earl a pocket here. Oh, he slow wheeled it. Put him behind the eight. That was rough. That's tough to control right there. Snappy Jeb saying hi to the booze. Hey, what's going on? Quadruple bank shot doesn't go in. Earl Herring coming to the table. I think he's going to play him safe behind the 7-9 here. He's got to lean over to 7-9 to stroke this five ball, but, you know, it's a possible safe to get him up and lock him up behind that 7-9. The only thing you're going to do is push that five ball out. You don't want to push oh, it out too much. He's going to send the cue up to the corner maybe here. Yeah, behind the 7-9. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just don't hit that five too much. And you got to make sure you hide the cue because if you don't, you're going to leave a shot. What a... Well, wow, he got him. He what did. a great shot. He got him. Nice shot. Left him one real kick here. That's a big ball down here. Yeah, because of being that close to the corner. Yeah, There's yeah, also yeah. a pocket there. Boy, you almost got right behind yeah. it, too. I think he's going to marry up on this. That's him a cut. That's true, Gary. He does jump. Maybe a little bit nervous. I don't know. Pete Fleming here. PD. Um, Mr. PD, if you're in the room, how you doing? I'm not sure. No, Pete's not for out there. For those of you who don't know, I've talked about Pete. Larry Kennison Pete. is out there. Pete Fleming is Pat's brother, for those, those that don't know. The Macustas. If you're in the video of the Month Club, Pete's the guy that was mailing them out. Okay, ball in hand now. This is a four ball run out. He has to yeah. settle in. I mean, just look at the score. It's five to one. We're racing to nine. Uh, Earl Herring, what we consider... He's over the hill as far as on the scoreboard because he's got five. So uh, he's going to bounce Charlie's off this really line to get a little funny here. Maybe. Wow! Look at this. He's got to play the side. I don't think he's got the corner. He, I don't know. Do you, do you think there was any reason to run into that nine? No, I yeah, I don't, I don't think he could avoid it, and that was his only. Really? Girl's only seven was that close. Well, maybe it takes a little more well, thought process. Shot. Wow, what a recovery that is. Yeah, yeah. He winds up with a nice shot. He's, he's on, well, not a nice shot, well, but he's he got winds a up with a shot it, yeah. on right. a nine. And an opportunity to really put up a beat on his side. He's got to start answering back here. Right now, Earl's getting more time at the table. Oh, boy. It's okay. He's going to have a four or five game gap here. It's going to be tough. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Ed? Filthy animal. <laughs> oh, Jarrett the Jazz Man. Arisamina in the chat. I got your photo. I just don't know what I did with it. Is there for the win? 6 1. Wow. Score's a little lopsided here. This kid missed stuff he probably should have never missed, you know? What I'd like to ask the entire viewing audience, and you, Eddie, 
is how come this game isn't in the Olympics? You know what? Since That's I was, what I want to Since know. I was a little kid, we've been talking about it, right? They're talking about 2020. There's a possibility. I, I'm not sure if it's three cushion billiards or. I don't. I don't uh, or nine ball or ten ball, but I don't know. Anything. Any, snooker, I, who cares? Anything. I, would, I really would like to sit sure. down with somebody from the Olympic Committee well, and say, how come this game? And show them all these matches that, that have been played through the years of. You don't Everybody, that you you stats have, bring them the whole library and say, take a look at these and tell us why this game's not in the Olympics. You know, because you, you have to make room for synchronized swimming or something like that. <laughs> okay? You cannot. Listen, my granddaughter <laughs> might do that, so <laughs> don't make stop. fun of it, all right? Stop it. When they're rolling, five of them all together, wiggling their feet in the air and they're all in the pool. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Earl Herring set the break. We're going into rack number eight already. It's six to one, as you can see on your monitor. Up on the Brunswick, the diamond up there. Whoa. Again, using the cut break, the seven ball found in the bottom right-hand corner. He appears that he's got a shot on the one. He can at least hit it. Uh, whether he can make it or not, yet to be seen. You know, he, he doesn't even have to play this ball. He can just, well... Well, and well Charlie play. asked him, if you're going to play it, I'd like to call a referee, I guess. It was Charlie uh, had a couple of words I think he's got a big him. enough gap there that he didn't have to. You think? Well, uh, if he's going to play it, you know, yeah. why, why uh, create any kind of yeah, uh, sure. uncomfort, you know, between the players? I'd definitely call over a referee and let him deal with it. Let them earn their keep, right? Well, they actually do it voluntarily. Yeah, I know. I mean, they do. just volunteer uh, their time. Let's watch the hit. Wow, nice hit. Boy, that was the cleanest hit wow. you could even see. That was real pretty. You didn't even have to put that into slow motion. You've seen that. That was great. Two ball hangs up in the corner pocket, and Earl Herring's. All he's got to do is go rail first off of this, but play with very little speed, and he can play the three ball right oh, into the side pocket. He's snatching it back a little. He's snatching it. Is he? Yeah. It's hard to judge that it, side yeah. pocket speed. you got to be real accurate. Oh, don't hit that now. Oh, look what he did. <laughs> That's the last thing he wanted to do. Well, he still has a billiard on it if he wants a count. He's got both, too. I yeah. mean, if he gets too close to the rail, he can sure. play the combo. It was laid out pretty nice, though, before that happened. Well, he can don't, pretty don't, much get to wherever he wants now. Yeah, don't be surprised if he goes in there and knocks that five ball out. Yeah, I think he's got to try and get back to that rail and play the combo. Get dead on that right side rail there. He's yeah. playing the combination. He wants to hug that rail, but he's okay. Yeah, he didn't do real bad. And he's close to his work. Uh-oh. You know, I thought he was looking to play a safety here or something. No, he's got it. There's no hanger. For a straight pull player? Yeah, it's pretty easy, that one shot right there. Was it go seven to one here? Yeah, seven one. I'm rooming with uh, <laughs> with Dave Fernandez, and I think he's playing Eddie Abraham. Evan, uh, Aaron Beckner brought me a nice cup of ice water, and she asked me if Eddie wanted any under her breath, and I said, I waved my hand, and said, the heck with him. Yeah, the poor, <laughs> yeah, the poor disabled guy. Let him make him get his own. Filthy animal. <laughs> I didn't want to send her back. She's taken plenty of pictures of all the players. Earl Herring set the break, smashes him up. This time the seven ball does not go in. It's way up table. Charlie's got a shot at the one, but the six ball is blocking the bottom corner. He's going to have to play safe here. Yeah, he may be able to snuggle that cue ball right behind the, the what is it, the seven over there? That's a touchy shot. Is that the yeah, it is touchy. Yeah. I like thinning it and come bringing the cue ball down around the nine area if he's got that angle where he can spin the cue. He's going to try your shot. He's got to hit it yeah, easy, just though. Real easy. Yeah, he got he there. Got him. Wow, he didn't even leave him a one railer to the right side here, back and up and down maybe. You know, when you're when you're up 7-1, this shot becomes easy. 
There's a hanger. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice hit. Uh-oh. Wow. Well, that could have been worse. Watch the nine. If he rolls forward too much and lets the cue ball go, he could find a hole. He didn't even touch it. You know, he struck that one ball real well. The three ball's real ugly if we're here for him right now. But the way, the way he stroked that one ball is the way he should be playing every ball. Well, he jumped up a few times on, on yeah. shots, you know. I wonder if it's nerves. We still have nobody in the chat that actually knows Charlie. There we have an update from AB 1980 that Jason Shore is already up 8-2 to two in his match. You can find the live scores for every match going on in the arena on azbilliards.com. Jason had a post on Facebook before. He's hungry for this one again. He, he always is. He's been he's been hard pra hard at practice. Uh oh. Well. Well, he's got to play this in the in the side, I think, and, and he's going to run into some traffic down here. I don't think he can avoid that six eight nine here on this cut. Well, he's not playing the cut, is he? Oh, he banked it. Nice shot. He's still laying a little funny here. He needs to get right back to where he is. On the roof. Wow, this is tough. He's shooting over this ball. This is when you really got to bear it down now, you know? On a shot like this, you just got to see how much time he takes on this. Uh, played a little bit of a two-way shot there. Sorry, Ed, I'm just doing that. That's okay. Here. Go to work. Nothing new. Wow, there's a nice, oh, the kid got robbed. Wow, he made a nice shot from there. Well, I didn't think he was gonna scratch on that shot. Earl getting ready to go in the hill here, I think. That's about right, if he can sink this one right here. He's gotta get there. Yeah, he's there. He's there? Yeah, he's there. <laughs> well, he would like to start with he's you from line. here he's all the line. time. He's in line. In the chat is uh, the one and only Allison Fisher. I hope you guys have been following her story. We do have uh, Allison, move down to town. We do have some graphics uh, that we will put up for Allison Fisher. Shall this match end? Uh, oh, yeah, Allison Fisher. Going to miss you, darling. I took, Al I took Allison to McSorley. Showed her McSorley's Ale House in New York when you... Well, that's personal. No, I mean, it's not anytime personal. Anytime you no. mention, you took somebody. <laughs> they don't really want you to mention it. <laughs> the nine ball sunk by Mr. Herring, and, and he is on it's the It's not hill. personal. Tell him, Allison. <laughs> is she here in the chat? She is in the chat. Oh, good. And right after this match, we're going to uh, put up something about the one and only Allison Fisher, who I dearly miss. And I think... Uh, a lot of other people do. A kind soul. Just an uh, unbelievable person. You know, she's done so much for the pool world throughout the metropolitan area since she's been on scene. It's incredible. What, in, what it entails to really write stories all the time, go into 10 places, travel to right, a great writing. She Derby, was travel to the Open, yeah. travel all over Jersey. Listen. A lot of work with NYC I'm, Grind for I'm a, years. I'm a witness to this. This young woman used to, sometimes when she couldn't get a ride would take a mass transit across the states just to get to a tournament to, to write a story so you know bring everybody up to date what's going on well i told her to go to medical school it's her own fault she's involved with this stupid game you know right darling <laughs> no she's a great person good for her good luck lady gonna miss you 
And I like the new haircut. Well, it looks like Lee Kang just exited the arena and Jason oh, look Shore, at that. Jason Shore uh, probably uh, sent Lee Kang to the B side of the chart here at the Turning Stone Classic. Wow, that's a big win right there. Well, Jason's a buzz sore, you know. You, yeah, yeah. You get him on a go. Look at this. How do you like this lineup right here? These, this <laughs> the one five and the seven nestled, nestled into the corner. Well, and now he can play the uh, seven. He has to play the billiard. Yeah. Way to carry him. Oh, right maybe he has it. Wow. How do you Look like playing it behind the seven into the pocket? And he got on the two. He didn't. I think he came up. Well, shy. he's got the two in the corner. If he doesn't have it for the side. Oh. Yeah, he has it for the corner. And he'll come out perfect for the three. Well, you just got to cinch this ball. Like that. Earl Herring. Shooting marbles in the tunnels right now. Well, he's a little funnier here than he wants to be, but he'll come around that nine maybe. And... Hey, Iggy, mod up, uh, oh. Troy, mod up NJ pool player. Just click on his name and select make mod. He should be a mod. I don't know why. Earl, he's Earl had that ball real well, I'll too. I'll have to check into that. I'm trying to close the deal right here. Yeah, he wants to close the door, of course. He wants to get his work over with for a few hours. Wow. Oh, I thought he was going to miss that know, one. Huh? I'll tell you what. He thought so, too. You can see from the way he moved after it. The great Earl wow. Herring. Wow, Earl making a statement here. And it's pretty easy to do when you maintain control of the table. And he does this with just about anybody he's playing. He tries to maintain, just, that's his job. Nice win. Earl Herring wins over Charlie Lamach by a score of nine to one. We're gonna be back with the six o'clock match. We already brought you up to date who it's gonna be. It's gonna be Mike DeShane versus Joey Dupuy right here on the live table. Don't go nowhere. I'm going to give you a little bit of update on him. The one and only Allison Fisher. That's in the chat. I want to thank uh, Mr. Ed Cohane, the hat, for sitting in on this one. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, sir.